this man is a double cover agent. So is this man. And this man. These men are taking part in a revolution, a revolution to change the face of the country, to brush away the old, clean up the drab, brighten the ineffective. A revolution in paint. New formula, Brolac PEP with double cover. It began here in 1959. From these works came, among many types of paint, an emulsion paint, Brolac PEP, which was a sensational advance on anything else then produced. The first water-thinned copolymer emulsion paint, an emulsion paint which stayed put on all kinds of surfaces, resisting steam, damp, and just plain hard wear. The first go-anywhere emulsion paint. All right, all right, we know we're good. Now just stop patting us on the back and get on with the message. The message? That we've done it again. Well, that's what I was coming to. I know you were. I'm simply trying to persuade you to get on with it. Yes. Now, six years later, John Hall and Sons have done it again. They have produced an entirely new emulsion paint that not only does what the old paint did, but covers even better and goes even further. Double cover, in fact. Fine. But how does that affect Charlie? Charlie? Or Alf? Alf? I don't understand. Don't you know Charlie? No. Let me introduce you. I really don't see... Stop that... waffling. Meet Charlie. Good heavens, he's using a trowel. That's a good job, that's Charlie. One coat Charlie, they call him. But doesn't he use a lot of paint? You're fooling me. One of our best customers, aren't you, Charlie? Why isn't he wearing a shirt? Shirt? <laughs> that's a laugh, eh, Charlie? He can't afford a shirt, not Charlie. Every penny he earns goes on paint. Hey, Charlie? That shook you, didn't it? Well, I must confess that I was... Don't that... bother. Come and meet Alf. Here's Alf. Proper water baby, he is. He thinks hoses were invented for filling paints with. Hey, Alf? Alf reckons he once did the whole of his local, inside and out, on a gallon of emulsion. Didn't you, Alf? Good Lord. What happened? He had to do it again. I should think so. Several times. But wasn't that expensive in time and labour? Is that why he isn't wearing a shirt? You catch on quick, don't you? So what we've got to look for is a paint that puts the shirts on painters. There's no need to be funny. This is a serious subject. Oh, come, I say. It's better if you just get on with it. Tell them about the boys in the lab. You mean John Hall's paint chemists and technologists? That's them. I see. Well, their brief in the past few years was to research for an emulsion paint which did everything the old Brolac PEP did, but did it with an even higher opacity and yardage. At the same time, it had to flow well and be easy to use. If by some miracle, it could also be drip-free, so much the better. There's a job for you. Just like John Hall to demand the impossible. You're telling me. The first problem was to find a precise method of measuring opacity. Patterns of black and white are fine for straightforward visual comparison, but they don't tell enough. John Hall found the answer in this unique and expensive instrument, the colour eye. It may not look much, but for its price you could buy a Rover 2000 and still have enough change to buy the wiper mini. John Hall evolved a technique for using the instrument to make accurate comparisons of opacity on different samples. Literally hundreds of paint samples were made up to many different formulations. The suppliers of pigments, the manufacturers of emulsion, the makers of the various additives that go to make up a paint were approached, and new ideas tried out and tested. Each new formulation was spread in different measured thicknesses. The test pieces prepared for the colour eye, and their opacity recorded. From these records were drawn hundreds of graphs relating opacity to spreading rate and yardage. The paint had to have maximum obliteration while covering 720 square feet to the gallon, almost half as much again as competitive products. Yes, yes, all this is fine, but what happened? What happened? Did we find it? Of course you did. Good, what do we do then? Wheels. Wheels? Your marketing people put it on wheels. England, Scotland, Wales, Ireland, industrial areas, country areas, seaside localities, trying it out on professional painters everywhere. 
bangs. The important thing is, did the trade like it? Listen. I thought the material was good. Good opacity. First coat was solid and equal to two normal coats. This is better than any I've ever tried. Went on better, very economical. One coat covers where very often we should use two. It's first-class material, easy to apply, covers very well, gives a more even coat. Now, having applied one coat only on these walls, I find it has really good covering power and is easy to apply. When you get a finish as good as this so quickly, think of the time and work it saves. I think this material is great. Good covering power, good yardage, very easy to apply. Great, good covering power and yardage. It had plenty of body and one coat was sufficient. Well, it covers well, works nice and smooth, little or no smell. Fine, fine. Now I'd like to know what this paint does for Charlie. Charlie? Yes. One coat Charlie. Well, to begin with, you can throw the trowel away. Did you hear that, Charlie? You can throw the trowel away. Go on, Charlie, you heard the gentleman. Here, try this. I reckon Charlie's not going to be the same without his trowel. He'll be a great deal better. And here's the paint to go with the brush. Go on, Charlie, have a go. Well, Charlie? Getting good cover, Charlie. And easy to put on. So far, so good then. But what about Alf? What about Alf? Are you going to do the same for him? Of course. Hey, Alf. Gentleman here says you can do away with your hose pipe. Here you are, Alf. One gallon new Brolac PEP. Go on, have a go. No, Alf, no, you don't need that. That's what I said, Alf, no hose. There's a good lad. Alf really can put away his hose. With new Brolac PEP, the extra yardage is there. But what is equally important is that he will, with this yardage, also get the cover. Double cover, in fact. So both Alf and Charlie get the best of each of their worlds. They save the expense of a coat, they save on material, they save on time, they save on labour. So new Brolac PEP is the best buy for any decorator? Yes. Here, for example, is one of the many situations where the use of new Brolac PEP did the job more efficiently and economically than the paints previously used. In this classroom, 20% more yardage was obtained when decorating, or in other words, fewer tins of new Brolac PEP to cover the same area. Think of what this means on a large contract. Sounds incredible. But true. Obviously. And what else? What else? Well, you haven't finished, have you? Of course not. There are other things in this can of double cover emulsion besides coverage and yardage, you know. Of course I know. Well, get on and tell them then. I will if you'll let me. Some people. It goes anywhere. Anywhere? Well, almost anywhere. Such as? New plaster, old plaster, plasterboard, hardboard, asbestos, concrete, brickwork, cement. Outside, inside, cold room, steamy rooms, rough cast, wallpaper, even over glass paint, glass. All right, all right, all right, you win. It goes anywhere. But easily? Its flow properties are superb. Here it comes. It's a hard sell again. But they are. John Hall have made sure of that. As soon as it is brushed, rolled or sprayed, the paint simply flows on. It is all to do with its excellent rheological properties. It's what? It's rheological properties. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. What you mean is that it's easier to use. That's it. Well, why don't you say so? And it dries? In one hour. Smell? Virtually none. And the finish? Ah, John Hall made sure of that too. It gives a hard, durable matte finish resistant to stain and dirt. A finish easily cleaned, even scrubbed yet one which allows the surface to breathe and which stays permanently flexible. Even under damp conditions? Even under damp conditions. If it can stand extended humidity tests like these, it can stand anything the average kitchen or bathroom can produce. Anything else? Oh, yes. It is alkali resistant. 
This means you can paint it on new plaster, asbestos cement and so on. It is also mould resistant. In this dish, the paint is not mould resistant. In this dish, the semicircle of white has been painted with new Brolac PEP. No mould. It is frost resistant. In this refrigerator, tins of new Brolac PEP have been deliberately chilled well below freezing. The paint will stand several freezings without deterioration. A vital factor may be on a large outside contract in winter where paint may have to be stored in unheated buildings. Non-toxic too. It's got everything. And it lasts and lasts. In this accelerated weathering machine, years of hard wear are reproduced. Any weaknesses would show up in as little as a hundred hours. Yet even after three months in this machine, new Brolac PEP suffered no ill effects. Here is a paint that really does what is claimed for it. A paint that saves a coat. A paint that is economical, labour-saving, quick-drying. Think of hospital contracts where a ward might have to be used while the work's going on. Think of a canteen where the preparation of food may have to continue. Yeah, think of a factory where production mustn't be interrupted. Quick-drying, fast-covering, little smell. New Brolac PEP is surely the answer. And when the job's finished, brushes and rollers clean quite simply with water. Technical advice? John Hall Technical Advisory Service is only a phone call away, willing and anxious to offer assistance. Doing a big job on a brewery or hotel? John Hall Colour Service is at your disposal. Colours to specification? New Brolac PEP comes in a wide range, including the BS101 colours. Confidence in the product? John Hall & Sons have the integrity of nearly two centuries of paint manufacture behind them. Twice in the last ten years they have revolutionized emulsion paint. Every claim made for new Brolac PEP has been exhaustively tested both theoretically and in the field. Every ingredient for every batch of paint is examined for quality. Every batch of paint is thoroughly tested to standard before the tins are sold. Nothing at John Hall is left to chance. Their reputation with the trade is too high for them to risk. This is why craftsmen can depend on new Brolac PEP, the most professional paint for professional painters.